Mastercard Best New Musical. I mean... All right, we all need to... We all need to go to the pub. I just need 17 minutes. I, I am... I, I mean, if... You, I'm a long way from Perth. Um, and being in this room, which is my favourite room, it's so beautiful, and being in amongst your company is so far beyond my wildest dreams. And then to have Lin-Manuel and Audra, both of whom I know enough to claim as my friends when I get to talk about them. I mean, it's a, I mean yeah, it's inc uh, uh, incredible. Um, the Old Vic is an incredibly... Uh, Incredible, think of something else. Extraordinarily um, important theatre. It's, it's not subsidised and it's not a huge commercial theatre. Please go to the Old Vic. It's a beautiful room and their support in helping us make this musical. Um, uh, uh, um, can someone get me a wine? Um, uh, the, the cast of this show worked so hard. I don't know if you guys know, many of you do, I know. To develop a new musical as, as complicated as this and, um, uh, is, takes massive work. The cast and the crew, if you guys knew what the crew of this thing did back, if we got a camera backstage, it's out of control. And the band, thank you so much, all of you. Um, um, the, the, um, Matthew Warchus is my friend and a mentor and a kind and brilliant, intelligent man. And I just need you to understand that when you direct a new musical, you're not just telling people where to stand. Without Matthew, there is no Matilda, there is no Groundhog Day. He's the architect of, he is the co-writer and architect of these pieces and he's brilliant. And Chris Nightingale, who's my orchestrator and additional music guy who takes my stupid songs and turns them into cool stuff. Um, and meeting that team, Rob Howell and Ellen Kane and the beautiful Peter Darling, Simon Baker and Hugh Vanstone changed my life forever. And I'm sorry, I'm going to get there. Um, Danny Rubin wrote the movie Groundhog Day 25 years ago or something, 20 something. And he's an incredible man, a beautiful man. And his trust to give us this story and trust us to help him, he wrote the book of this musical was just amazing. He's a beautiful guy. Danny, I wish you were here, but I respect your choice not to fly all the way across the ocean. Um, I would have just talked over you anyway. Um, I'm hugely, hugely proud to be a part of this industry in this beautiful, beautiful theatre town. And, you know, to have Simon and Brendan and other Aussies here, you guys embrace anyone who's, like, willing to put the work in, I guess, I don't know, like, just any, you seem to just let anyone in, it's just, except, well, not anymore, obviously. Um, yeah, go, um, please, uh, please keep going to the theatre, I, I, and, um, oh, that's a bad ending. Thank you so much, Andre, thank you, everyone, thank you very much.